Snake, do you remember the sinking of that tanker two years ago? Of course. Terrorists blow a hole in an oil tanker full of crude barely 20 miles off the shore of Manhattan. Your classic nightmare. It didn't take long for the government to put an oil fence around the whole mess. And then that massive offshore cleanup facility went up inside. The big shell. I hear the cleanup isn't quite over yet. It takes time. But in the meantime, the shell's become a landmark, a symbol of environmental protection. Calling teams Alpha and Bravo. Deploy at the big shell as scheduled. Approximately six hours ago, the big shell was seized by an armed group. Do we have an ID? Former members of the Navy SEAL Special Anti-Terrorist Training Squad Dead Cell. Russian private army members may also be involved. It's a highly trained group and they have the big shell under complete control. $30 billion. $30 billion? What makes them think they can get that much? There was a government-sponsored tour going on at the Big Shell that day. Hostages, huh? A VIP from one of the major conservation groups, and one from our own government. The most important person in a sense. The most important person? James Johnson. The president? Unless the demands are met, the terrorists intend to blow the Big Shell out of the water. And the crude will ignite, turning the Manhattan Harbor into an inferno. That's not the worst case scenario. If the chlorides being used to decontaminate the seawater go up with the oil, toxins containing catastrophic levels of dioxins will be released. In other words, the bay's ecosystem will be wiped out and the sea will turn into a toxic soup for centuries, becoming the worst environmental disaster in history. You have two mission objectives. One, infiltrate the offshore decontamination facility Big Shell and safeguard the president and other hostages. And two, disarm the terrorists by any means necessary. You should know that SEAL Team 10 is also conducting a rescue operation. Is this a joint effort? No. Foxhound remains a covert body. Don't alert them to your presence. That is an order. This is Snake. I'm now inside strut A of shell one. How are things? We're in luck. Looks like there are no sentries posted here. What's the visibility? The lights on the plant's struts are functioning. I won't have to use the IR goggles. Any problems? There was a brand new hole cut through the oil fence. There's someone else besides me that wanted to get in badly. That's not possible. What about SEAL Team 10? They landed on the roof of the big shell as planned. And by the way, Snake, we're changing your code name for all following communication. What's wrong with Snake? Just a precaution. You are now designated Raiden. This will be your first sneaking mission. The arms will naturally have to be procured on site. Make sure nobody sees you. If you need to, contact me by codec. The frequency is 140.85. When you want to use the codec, push the select button. When we need to reach you, contact you, the codec will beep. When you hear that noise, press the select button. The codex receiver directly stimulates the small bones of your ear. No one but you will be able to hear it. All right. I'll contact you if anything changes. First, make your way to the upper section of the big shell. How do I get up to the next level? There's an elevator at the far end of that area. Use that. Sounds good. Your new sneaking suit uses electrofiber technology. 
a byproduct of fiber optics research. The texture isn't far removed from rubber, but the material protects against a wide range of toxic substances. The suit itself has a wide array of built-in sensors. It is referred to as smart skin in military R&D. Data about damage to different regions of the body, including blood loss, is exchanged between the suit and the intravenous nanomachines to create a feedback system. There's a lot of pressure on my torso. Relax. The suit applies varying pressure to major internal organs to maximize performance and safeguard their functions. They call this the skull suit in Foxhound. Skull suit seems appropriate somehow. The hatch with a circular handle will open into the elevator area. Locate the hatch first. Copy that. Moving on to main mission objectives. Who is this asshole? The giant ass. It's so supple. Oh, ah, gross, gross, gross. I'm, step, I'm stepping on him. Oh, 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 it's gross, it's gross. It's so gross. God, why are you gross? Oh, look, he's. He like slaps. Uh, it's a karate slap. That's a limp wristed slap. Look at that. It's clearly part of a combo. It's like some Jeet Kune Do up in here. His, watch his legs stretch out really far. He's a ninja. Kind of. <laughs> Any cartwheels? That's a normal sneaking thing to do. Is to cartwheel. Oh, uh, he gets across gaps really freaking fast. Yeah, actually he does. Shut, shut, shut up. Shut up, oh, Colonel. Oh, just answer it. <sighs> You've acquired some ration. Good. <sighs> this is a portable field food source that can be consumed to recover life. Select the ration. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks! They just picked up a teenager and told him to sneak. He said, oh, oh okay. Pretty much, yeah. It's my first thing. You should be gentle. No, oh, oh, gross, 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 gross. Be gentle with this thing. Somebody must have brought those roaches onto the big shell. Like they, they, they didn't swim out through the harbor. Yeah. Somebody had like a pet roach farm. They got way out of control. Where is that sheep at? I really wish I could go over railings like that. Yeah, the way he goes over railings is actually pretty good. Damn. Fuckers. No. Oh. Wait. Yes. You've picked up a second ration. Let me tell you how to use that one. It is exactly how you use the first. Step by step, here's how it works. Interesting. I'm scared of that door. I might have a cutscene. <laughs> All the doors have cutscenes. Uh, Oh, 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 what is happening? Raiden, that door is watertight. Turn the handle to open the door. Face the door and oh, press come the on. action button, and the handle will turn. Punch the action button repeatedly if you need to turn Seriously. The I'm going to punch the action button. It's working. That's actually working. I'm amazed. Ow, my knuckles. That hurts. I'm just going to tight. I'm just going to press it, okay? Punching buttons hurts! <laughs> I could have punched it for a second. I mean, helped with the punching. You can just take turns beating this controller's face and... <laughs> There's a man. I need to talk about him. What are these feelings of experience? Oh, tell me! Uh, uh, century. AN-94 and a Makarov. Those grenades... All his equipment is Russian-made. Must be a Gerlukovich man. Gerlukovich? A Russian private army that was in line to work with the Shadow Moses Takeover Group four years ago. What's their stake in this one? They must have made a deal, an arrangement with the terrorists. They become a band of mercenaries, an army without a country. I'm a Dapper Dan man. I don't need no fop. Dapper Dan man. Mr. Galukovich. Hey. Mr. Galukovich. Hey. What? 
What? When I'm moving, it makes a different noise? That's amazing. Whoop! Oh wait, I'm scared of this door too. <sighs> Just take a dip, big breath and... Uh, oh god! It's a cutscene. Why? Story. Why? Colonel, there's definitely another intruder in here besides me. That's not a possibility. Not a team. Looks like a solo job. One man. We may not know who he is, but he managed to take care of every sentry in the area. They're all out cold. Whoever he is, he's got some skills. We need to get an ID. But for now, you can take advantage of the situation and get to work. There's a terminal in front of the elevator. A node. Did you say nerd? Not nerd. Node. Oh. Use the node to gain access to the Big Shell's facilities network. Then what? Pull up the map of the structure. That'll let you activate the Soliton radar. The Soliton radar? A radar system. Uses biological magnetic fields as input. These estimated enemy positions are projected onto a map according to reference points collected via GPS signals and field personnel reports. We need to get to the map through the Big Shell's node to put this data processing to practical use. The node unit is about three feet high, should be colored blue. Each area has at least one. How do I gain access? Just push the action button in front of the node. The nanomachines in your body will take care of the security clearance and allow you access to the node. Complete the procedure before those sentries gain consciousness. If they spot you, you won't be able to gain access for a while. Stay on guard. Got it. <gasps> I think we beat it. I, th I think uh, we've defeated the cutscene. Have we? For now. Shut up! Are you sure we've beaten the cutscenes? Are you sure? I'm gonna push the action button! Look what you made me do! Look what you made me do! Look what happened! Look what happened when I pressed the action button! No button is safe! <laughs> oh, that's not safe at all. Yeah, touch screens aren't supposed to electrocute you. But the skull suit keeps you safe. Okay. It, it just burns your fingerprints onto it and makes a reference file. What's her name? Uh, Our name is going to be... Oh wait, no, first. No, it's the late type squares in. Aww. So instead, her name is going to be... Yes. There's a reason. For this. <laughs> I'm sure there is. There's a reason. Are you seducing me, Mrs. Robinson? You're born. There. Blood type. This really that really matters. What is our blood type? It's O. Oh. Oh. USA. USA. Oh. No. Mm. Yemen's good. Yugoslavia's good. It doesn't exist anymore. Yeah, let's be from Yugoslavia. Let's be from a non-existent place. All right. All right, cool. That's our name. And we're, we're downloading things. The options menu, actually. I don't know why it's there. <laughs> For God's sake! <sighs> good work, Lighten. The radar should be functioning now. Good work. You Let gave them your vital the information. They now know you're there. This is part of our plan in they your know sneaking your name mission. Is my dick. <laughs> the red dots are your enemies. The Yugoslavian <laughs> infiltrator. <laughs> your radar is infected by the weather. Suck my dick. But if you're discovered by an enemy, you, suck my you dick? won't be able to use it. No, it I'm gets not. jammed easily, I'm afraid. Is your blood type O? Yeah. It's all made you suck my dick? No. Technology. Are you oh, from no. Yugoslavia? Yes. Are you suck my dick? No. Be careful. 
Quit it, you're weird! Big shells live. <laughs> now should now be available after touching the start button. How do I save the mission data? I've set aside proprietary frequency for saves and an analyst to work on the data too. Jack, is everything all right? What are you doing here? Jack, can you hear me? Rose, you're not supposed to be involved. What's going on? Jack, I'm a part of this mission. Colonel, what the hell is going on? Jack, 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 Jack. Jack. Hey, Jack. Welcome to the Order of Orion. You have been selected to compete in the membership trials for the most elite private hunting club in the world. Don't pat yourself on the back just yet. First, you need to prove you're worthy of the privilege. We'll be flying you to various locations around the world to compete in hunting and survival challenges, testing your mettle as both a hunter and an outdoorsman. I should warn you, some initiates don't make it back. Don't sweat it, though. As your sponsor, I'll be watching your back via HuntCom, the order's communication network. Using HuntCom, I can tell you where the big game is, guide you towards the next hunt challenge, and offer the occasional hint. With a little luck and some guidance from yours truly, we might just be calling you the Order's newest member. Supposing you survive, that is. Welcome to the Order of Orion's membership trials. If you survive the challenges ahead, you'll be a member of the most prestigious hunting club in the world. First stop, Colorado. We'll start off easy with some white-tailed, pronghorn, and mules. We've also spotted a mountain lion in the area, so watch yourself. You're not the only hunter on the mountain. Okay, Jack. Jack, before we begin the formal trial, let's take a few minutes to get your bearings. Take a look around. <laughs> oh, God, how do I get in this game? Good. One of the criteria on which you'll be graded is your ability to navigate unfamiliar terrain and reach each of your hunting areas without getting lost. First, you'll have to find an area where white-tailed deer live. Jack, enter hanging mode. Yes. Yes, waypoints. Is, do you know? Look, hunter sense. Oh. We walk incredibly slow. Do, 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 do. Yes, let's hunter sense crawl <laughs> our way over here. Because hunter sense wasn't slow enough. Well, that 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 tree seems interesting. Hey, I've found a nice scrape here. Pretty fresh and from a mature buck, I'd say. Good eye, Jack. And that's something else you'll be graded on. When you find and evaluate game signs properly, you improve your chances of locating the dominant animal in each area. But, of course, you still have to make the shot. Now let's go find some cover and see if we can glass that buck you're looking for. Why does he need coaching every step of the way? I don't know. There's cover points and they're blue. And they give you extra experience. <laughs> Hunter experience. <laughs> In case points. the deer shoots back, obviously. Right. Well, that means we'll have better defense against deer magic. Nice cover. Don't shoot yet. I can't... Where's the... Oh, there it is. Go ahead and see if you can pick up that big buck standing in the field below us in your scope. Tell me which button is my scope. Thank you. Use Hunter sense. Look, this hunter has x-ray vision! That colors stuff according to how many points. Uh, uh I not. think heart shot was the best. Yeah. Bullet cam! Yeah, murder that deer! Yeah! <laughs> oh my god. Wait. Use hunter sense to find the thing directly in front of you. <laughs> uh, uh, why? Tag it. Does that mean, like, teabagging? Because that's what all... That's what I'm doing right now! Take that, deer! <laughs> See? And he's got a 2D representation of what I'm doing to this deer right now. <laughs> now it disappears, because I gain points from it. <laughs> Gold medal. Gold medal. Aww. Now let's see what you can do against some pronghorn, which are a bit smaller yeah. and more skittish. Raiden, meet the mission analyst. She'll be overseeing the data saving and support. Why her? The foxhound analyst that was supposed to take part in this mission was in an accident. Rosemary was brought in as a replacement. An accident? And according to the files, she knows you better than anybody else. Rose may be in the service, but an intelligence analyst is no field officer. 
Not to worry. She has our technical staff at her disposal. She's never been a part of a field mission. This is insane. I have my own reasons for selecting her for this mission, soldier. Colonel, I fail to see... I know your VR training performance in and out, but sometimes that's not enough. You're familiar with the Shadow Moses incident? You know I covered it in VR. If there's a crucial tactical detail that case taught us, it was the power of the operative's will to survive. I was trained to fight. My personal feelings have no place in a mission. We've learned that it doesn't work that way. And on the field, you need all the help you can get. Jack, you're stuck with me whether you like it or not. Rose. You need someone to watch your back. But I have conditions that need to be met, Colonel. What is it? I'll perform my duties and save that mission data, but I'm aware that technically I'm not part of the mission control team. After all, I'm just a normal girl who's worried about Jack. But that means, Colonel, that I am not required to follow your orders outside of my immediate duties. Jack is not simply a field personnel for me to track. His safety comes first to me, not the mission. And because of that, I will be monitoring and keeping a record of every communication you have with him, Colonel. Given the circumstances, you're free to do what you see fit. Hey, I prefer this to being kept in the dark waiting. I'd like to make a request, if I may. Of course. His handle is Raiden. For the duration of the mission, could you call him that? Yes, sir. All right, Raiden. Let me know when you're ready to turn in a save. The proprietary save frequency is 140.96. I just switched frequencies. Jack? What? Do you know what day it is tomorrow? April 30th. Is there something special about it? Isn't there? I can't remember. I'm sorry. Oh well. I'll keep trying till I hear the answer. I'm gonna let you go now, Jack. Take care. Oh, we gotta hide! Let's talk about hiding! <laughs> Raiden, the enemy. Yes! I know! I'm gonna hide behind these tactical barrels! I'm under enemy fire! I have, I have no items, but. Oh, wait, I got a scope and a, a block that vibrates when people aren't here. It's helpful. Wait, he's under fire? From who? Oh, they woke up. I gotta wait for the elevator. Why wouldn't the little nook be the first place you check? God, I don't know. These are so bad. This is why Russia lost the Cold War. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Whoops. Almost wish it went hot, just Whoop. so oh, they could be even more incompetent. <laughs> Our greatest spies do not check behind barrels. Oh well. Barrels are too obvious! You gotta check secret places like... Bathrooms. Like wide open space. Like wide open space. Else. The terrorists call themselves Sons of Liberty. Sons of Liberty? The name of their leader is Solid Snake. The hero of Shadow Moses? So that's why you changed my code name. Right, but he can't be the Solid Snake. He died two years ago on that tanker, after he blew it sky high. Could he have survived? Not a chance. Colonel, I'm on the roof. There are no sentries, but it would only take one to spot me in this light. You never had daylight VR training, after all. Stay extra sharp until you can find a node to log in from. What about the commandos? SEAL Team 10 has landed on Struts B and C. And the President? Seems he was spotted on Strut B. Strut B? The big shell is comprised of shells 1 and 2. Each unit consists of a central core and six struts surrounding it. So the whole thing is shaped like two hexagons connected end on end. Exactly. And you're on the roof of strut A, shell one at the moment.
First, get to a node. Log into the network. Got it. <laughs> 